Okay, I've used this tool many times in my other videos from my other channel. This is the Innova 3160, but I've never really done an actual video on it. Now, as far as all the scanners, you know, this one here is probably one of my favorite one, even more so than my high-end macro scanner, because sometimes I just want to look at data that's quick and simple, and all this is is has a QWERTY plug-in and this, so let's go hook it up and I'll show Once you. Once you hook it up, it says right there, do you want a link? I already got my vehicle running. So, right now it's just kind of going through a test and it's testing all your systems. But if you want to go to live data, you press the live data button. So right now my fuel system is at closed loop, calculated load 21.1%, ECT 190 degrees. Now below you can see my short term fuel trims and my long term fuel trims. Scroll up. You know, you got your engine RPM, spark advance 13 degrees, intake air temperature 71, you know, throttle position sensor 12%, and these are your O2 sensors right down here. So it does tell you quite a bit of stuff, um, a lot more than your traditional little uh, Bluetooth scanners and that can pick up for sure. I've never really had to do anything with these data readings right down here. That's a lot of crap. I don't even know what half that shit even means. It's ECU volts 14, load value 13. Ambient temperature 35 degrees. Now if you, if you do have an engine code, it'll say so up there. You would just press this button here and you could view your different codes and stuff, ABS codes and all that stuff. Uh, right now, I don't have any actually showing. But otherwise you would, uh, let me just scoot out of this. If you had any codes to erase, you'd press the erase button. Here's a comparison right here. This is the Innova 3160. This is my Maco Max Me. This is about a thousand dollars difference from this one. Now, this one here, if I'm looking up something, I wouldn't say minor, but something I know is not too in depth, I'll use this one. The Maco Me, however, is pretty good because I can activate certain features and I can activate certain parts of the vehicle but the Mac o Me is not 100% perfect I found that there's a lot of bugs and stuff with it um, a lot of features you'll go to use and the program will just hang up where the Innova is pretty cut and dry you can read the data it'll give you all the data that it can read that the computer will allow you to read and if you have like some common knowledge on how the vehicle works or to compare to some data then you can be able to determine what is wrong with this and that because usually if there's something wrong that's related to a sensor you should get an engine code unless it's mechanical of course and you're not going to be able to but from that data and some research you can do some googling and you should be able to pinpoint it easily. I've never had a problem not being able to figure out an issue with the Innova 3160. The only thing that I was able to do with the macro scanner that I wasn't able to do with the Innova was to fix the rear parking sensors on my truck because the Innova will not read those kind of specialty codes where the macro was able to tell me which sensors were out and I was able to fix it up. But if you're looking at a scanner that's a good all-around scanner I would recommend the Innova 3160 over the Bluetooth scanners because the Bluetooth scanners I've, I have a few of them and some programs I don't really like the way they run like it sure tells you like your uh, main data but it won't give you all the readings that you think you need unless there's some other programs out there that I don't know but I'm gonna leave the video at that if you have any questions or comments post them below otherwise thanks for watching